All right, today we're gonna focus on the eyes. So I've already put on my base. It's just um, two thirds sunscreen and one third foundation. So it's just a light finish to kind of even out my skin tone. And then I'm gonna do just a little bit of concealer just under here so that when we put on our bright eyeliner, there's nothing distracting from it down here. It'll just be a little bit, it'll be able to pop more. So I'm using the Glossier Stretch Concealer. This one's really old. It's from before they made the new shade range. So this is just the old medium. It's a dewy concealer, which I picked A because my skin's really dry right now, but B because um, when you put a concealer right here to lessen the dark circles under your eyes, it's kind of nice to get a dewy one because it can reflect the light and just have be that much brighter. We're not trying to be perfect here, we're just trying to look cute. When I get ready in the morning, I definitely spend the majority of my allotted getting ready time uh, thinking about clothes, <laughs> thinking about my outfit. So when it comes to makeup, I like to just be really, really quick about it. Um, but that doesn't mean that it has to be boring or overly simple. It can still be really fun. Next, I'm going to do my brows. My brows are just like super jacked up sometimes because I used to pluck them a lot. <laughs> so um, they're like really patchy. But that's kind of the story of anyone who is my age and lived through the extremely thin eyebrows phase. So if the look today is focusing a lot on the eyeliner, I think I actually am going to go for like a slightly bushier brow just so that it's kind of top heavy. I kind of like that look because um, the eye look we're doing is just a colorful liner. So it's not going to be a big wash of color. It's just going to be a small accent. So I kind of want some bushier brows to like bring the eye there, if that makes sense. So I'm using the um, Milk Makeup brow gel in Kush Fiber brow gel in Diesel and I'm using a really light hand because this stuff can go on super thick if you are not careful. <laughs> um, if my eyes get watery it's because I have a, a ring light right here to balance out the natural light and I'm just like not used to having it and it makes my eyes water. And I'm just doing a little bit of um, a brow pencil to just fill in any gaps. This is the Goof Proof Brow Pencil by Benefit, and it's in number six. Um, so, unfortunately, I have learned over the course of the past few days that Makeup in real life looks very different on camera. It, uh, you need a lot more makeup on camera for it to really show up. So if the um, things that I'm doing don't look too drastic, it's because they're not. <laughs> um, it's just because this is like meant to be a wearable day-to-day uh, -day look. So... I give major kudos to the beauty YouTubers who have found a way to like kind of convey what they're teaching you um, and make it look really good for camera and for real life, but I don't know how to do that yet. I'm just an average Joe, so this is what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, next I'm going to do the Fenty Matchsticks in Mocha, and I'm just going to contour a little bit. I like to go like... If your cheek, my cheekbone is here, so I like to go basically not directly on top of it here because that's where I would put um, highlighter. This is kind of right on it, and then this is underneath it. So I almost do like a really thin line right as it starts to turn downward, like that, and then I blend it up. Because the contour gives you a little bit, it creates more of a shadow. So the higher up you place it, it, the higher up your cheekbones look. 
And you'll notice that I'm doing everything with my fingers because that is part of the five minute vibe. <laughs> I don't have time to be cleaning brushes and whatnot every week. I just like to use my fingers. <laughs> and then just to add a little bit of depth, I'm gonna do more of this because why not? Another round. I'm doing really light and I'm bringing it up to like here as well. And just kind of blending out the edges. But uh, don't take it too high there, maybe. And I'll put like the rest on the tip of my nose and maybe this side of my nose, <laughs> if there's any left. And then I'll do a little bit with my ring finger just to add depth to my eye socket. Um, right here, I'm going to start in the corner and go in. So if you just feel where your eyebrow bone is, just go right below that. No, that's I'm gonna keep the, I'm gonna try to stay away from the inner corner though and keep that nice and bright so I look a little bit more awake. Same thing on the other side. And with clean finger, I'm using my ring finger now. It's gonna blend out the edges and the parts that lead up to my eyebrows. That looks pretty good. Man, it's really hard to make a five minute makeup actually take five minutes when you're talking to a camera, but we're doing our best over here. So next, before I even put on um, anything else on my eyes, I'm gonna curl my lashes. Um, I don't know if I'm like doing this wrong. I don't know how other people manage to curl their lashes after they do their eye look without removing a bunch of the product, but I always have that problem, so I just curl them first. <laughs> now for the fun part. So I have this waterproof eyeliner. It is by NYX. It's called Aqua Green. I love it. It has the, it's a retractable one. It has the tiniest little tip and that makes it easy to be more precise with it, which I really like, especially with a colored liner. It's fun to do a huge wash of color, but it also is nice to have the option to be super precise with it. So I'm aware that my eyes are not even but I've learned my, my technique over the years of how to make them look pretty good. <laughs> but I mean, shout out to anyone who has ptosis because it's just what our eyes look like. But I've found that it's easier. First of all, I don't like to tug on my eyelid because I don't want the wankles. <laughs> but also, um, I find it easier to go inward than to go outward. So I start right at the outer edge and just kind of drag it in bit by bit. Because this is a waterproof pencil, I do find that it's a little bit um, stickier in the sense that you don't, you can't really blend it out. And also it doesn't have as much initial payoff, so you kind of have to go over it and over it and over it. Okay, so now I have the just regular shape of my eye. Now I'm going to kind of wing it up and shape it a little bit more. I have fun on my face. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow the line of the bottom of my eye up. And it kind of, if I lose my way, I kind of picture it going to like the end of my eyebrow but I'm going to pull it upwards just a little, little, little bit. And then from there, when I have the shape that I want, I'm going to pull it back down and in. And now that I'm looking at it, it's a little bit too, the angle's a little bit too up for my taste, so I'm going to kind of tame it and pull it back out a little bit more. So that's pretty much the shape that I want. Now I'm going to do it on the other side. So if you have ptosis, I'll just walk you all through this um, for those who are curious and if you do have ptosis like I do. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing 
but if I look at my eyes, this eyelid is fairly rounded. This one, because I have had surgery, first of all, this is an artificial crease, so yeah, it doesn't move at all. Where the shape of this one is very round, the shape of this one kind of peaks and then drops a little bit. So what I want to do is balance out this curve and I'm going to round it that way. First, I just go along the lash line. Oof. Another thing about having ptosis is that your lid actually goes over, or my lid goes over my iris. So when I push on it, it, it um, is a little bit uncomfortable sometimes. Okay, so now that my eye is sufficiently watery, <laughs> I'm going to assess the shape. So I've rounded it out just a little bit and I'm gonna fill in that bit of the lash line that dips down like I mentioned because you can still see some of my skin tone peeking through and I don't really want that. And then I'm just gonna do the exact same thing I did on the other side. I'm going to pull it up and then back in a little bit just to create a tiny wing and a little bit more shape. All right, let me check my lighting. Apologies for the lighting. The sun keeps going in and out. But now that my liner is done, I'm just going to pop on a tiny bit of mascara. I have this Well People mascara. It's a nice lengthening one. The applicator is very small, so you can be super precise with it. And I just go in with the tip of it right at the roots. Um, I don't drag it all the way out just yet. I just want to build up my roots because I do want the lashes to be just be a little bit fluttery um, and wispy which is why I'm not using a volumizing mascara but I do want a little bit of volume at the roots so I just go in at the roots first and then I'll drag it by second coat out to the tips. And if you just wiggle it that's what my mom taught me to do it. And the second coat. Straight in. I'm not gonna put any on the bottom because, I don't know, I think that it looks a little bit cleaner without. When I put, la um, when I put anything down underneath my eye, it starts to feel a little bit more glam and a little bit more grungy. And I just want like a clean, simple, classic look. It's basically, just your classic winged liner but in teal so that's kind of what's fun about it is that there's no um extra fancy technique and there's not a whole lot going on it's just a really simple look but in a fun color finally 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 i'm like moving fast because i want <laughs> i said it was going to take what i don't know if i'm going to name this five or ten minutes at this point but i want to keep it within the three minutes. My cat's an idiot. Anyway, I want to keep it within the reasonable amount of time. So I'm going to take this lipstick. This is the Bite... Oh, I don't have my glasses on. This is the Bite Matte Creme Lip Crayon in Glacé. G-L-A-C-E. I want to focus on the eyes here. So this is kind of my nude lip color. It's a little bit darker than my lips, but I'm going to put it right in the corners to add depth. right in the center of my lip to get that kind of pouty look. And right at the top too. I'm not quite overlining, but I'm really pushing, I'm pushing the, uh, the limits here, pushing the bounds. And then I'm gonna blend all of that with my finger. I'm gonna blend it up and out. If, I found that if I drag it like this, it starts to look kind of weird. So I kind of push it out to the edges of my lip and that adds to the overlining effect, but it blurs the edge so it looks natural and it doesn't look like a super harsh line, which is kind of what I like. It's personal preference, but that's what I like. And with the 
outer corner with the like corners of the mouth I don't really like to overline those because that um, looks a little bit less natural again personal preference and then once that's all done just pop on a gloss this is the NYX butter gloss in creme brulee it's lighter than the the lipstick so it gives the illusion that this part of my lips is closer to you and then adding depth is further away which ultimately makes your lips look poutier so just keep that in the center and then kind of just blend the the other parts and the fact that it's a gloss again similar to the concealer because it's shiny it reflects the light more so it adds to that dimensional effect Last but not least, I'm going to take a little bit of the lipstick again and just put it on the apples of my cheeks. Um, so I get a little bit more color, but it stays pretty cohesive and you don't have to use as many different products because that's how I roll. And then I just do like the tiniest bit on my nose. I think that's good. So. There you have it, my friends. That is the classic but bright eyeliner look.